That's yet, Ray. Well, thanks for a great weekend. You're learning. I'm learning what? How to treat a girl properly. Oh, we you drop my bag off at the cottage? Yes, Mum. Did you like it? Oh, it's cool. So when did you take it back? I don't. It's mine. Do you mean you bought it? Well, keep out the image, then. 5.40 this evening. Thank you. Bye. What the...? Oh, good morning to you as well. You're not working here, are you? I'm Paddy's personal assistant. You mean receptionist? What do you want, chauffeur boy? You haven't heard from Zoe. I would expect her to call by now. She won't be ringing here. She'll be ringing a little servant boy on his mobile. You know it's going to be great working with you again. Mm, almost as much fun as I had working with your mother. Oh, cheers, Chloe. Thanks. Viv! Hello. <laughs> oh, so how was the course, my little sweet? Very enlightening. I learnt so much in such a short space of time. Well, you pick things up so easily. Look, you picked me up. <laughs> Did you miss me? Miss you. Our bed's been like a desert without you, my little oasis. Oh, and how's the cafe been? Busy? Oh, not bad. Always had a great idea. Really what? An internet cafe. An internet cafe? Great potential. Magnet for the kids. Could do a roaring trade with the summer tourists. Well, to be honest, it is something that's already crossed my mind. Really? Excuse me, Bob, but you are talking to an entrepreneur with two very successful businesses to her name. I can sniff out potential a mile off. Morning, Cherry. Your post. Have I got to put up with that face all day? Oh, you're not still brooding over Louise. I think we should tell her about Mullen. We've been over this time and again. We can't. She's more or less sleeping through now, which makes a big difference. Yes. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. You look tired? Uh, no. It will take a while to get back to your old self. But everyone's telling you to take it easy. You could say that, yeah. Well, it wouldn't do to overdo things, but I'm sure a little exercise wouldn't do any harm. That's what the doctor advised. What? I'm no longer invincible. <laughs> I always thought I was. I can understand that. It doesn't help that people keep treating me like I'm old. But you know you're not. I've always been strong, both up here and physically. I've always been the one that's in control, but... This is not you back. Exactly. And I hate it. Need any help? All under control. Just making sure the aesthetics are perfect. It encourages the punters. You didn't even tell me you were going away. Oh, last-minute surprise from Scott. What sort of surprise? Just went to a hotel in his new car. Oh, must have been nice. <laughs> it was. How do I compete with that? Did I hear you say that Scott's got a new car? Yeah, and it's brilliant. You want to see it? Well, what's he doing with a new car? Andy took me away for the night. Where to? This lovely hotel. Throwing his money around. And there was champagne and flowers waiting for us in our room. Really? And we ordered room service and we talked all night. Is that all you did? Talk? It was fantastic. Well, it certainly wouldn't tempt me. I'd much prefer to stay at home curled up on a sofa with Bob watching a video. That is so boring. I can assure you, Bob gives me far more pleasure than you can ever imagine. So, how much did all this cost my son? Gil doesn't ask questions like that. Well, I hope he's not living beyond his means because of you. Of course he's not. Anyway, he wouldn't have treated me if he couldn't afford it. Well, don't take advantage of him. Otherwise, you'll have me to answer to. Yes, you called Doreen. She was the first girl I ever loved. How old were you? Eighteen. I bet you were one for the ladies, Len. Funny enough, I was right shy. 
I took her to pictures five times before I tried to hold her hand. Yeah, don't give me that. It's true. On a bad face, and I found the courage to slip my hand into her, and she turned to me and said, I've got something to tell you. She was married? No, of course not. But she couldn't have been pregnant. That's it, she was. Been seeing my best mate be out my back. <laughs> it's not funny. She broke my heart, did Doreen. Hello? Yeah, who is it? I'll go get him. Yeah, Scottish Tony for you. <coughs> Hello? Hi, Tony. Er. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can do that, yeah. Alright. Leave it with me. See what I can do. Yeah. Alright. Is he the one who brought that car last week? Er, uh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, he's a good customer. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, do a lot of work for him. What, is he a dealer? Yeah. So he's got some cool cars. Yes, he has. He certainly keeps us busy. Cup of tea? Yes, I'll tell him. Yeah, I'm just helping Paddy out on reception. OK, bye. Bye. Is that Zoe? Yeah. What time is she getting back? She isn't. And what? I'm sorry? She said she's not due back to work until tomorrow, so she's staying with some friends in Skipdale. But she definitely said she'd be back today. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. You didn't get it wrong? No, I didn't get it wrong. Of course you didn't, Paddy. You're a man. Oh, yeah, but don't worry. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. You better let Craig know. Oh, pardon me. Well, hello. You coming to see me? Yes. Oh, it's just on my way out. Get a little exercise. Shouldn't you be taking it easy? I'm fine. When I heard about your little scare. Yeah. You look well. I don't sound so surprised. Oh, sorry. It's good to see you. How are you? Fine. Well, not really. Oh? Uh, everything all right at home? Oh, it's not that. It's Stale Park. Oh. To be honest, Rodney, I'm really worried about Chris taking over up there. Really? Well, he's not a people person like you. Maggie. He just comes in and casually takes over. I just don't know where I stand. I wondered if you'd have a word with him. Maggie, please. Sorry? Look, I really don't need this. I've been told to avoid stress, and my little scare, as you call it, well, it happened after a... well, a very unpleasant meeting with Chris. Oh, Rodney, I'm sorry. I, I never gave it a thought. That doesn't matter. You seem to have settled in OK. Yeah, I like it. Well, you're learning fast. Cheers. Don't seem real what happened to you. When it comes home to me when I see that thing round your leg. <sighs> yeah, well, seems real to me. I can never go back there, Grandad, I just couldn't. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> you nearly finished? About five or ten minutes. Good, cos this is the last one, so uh, when you finish that, why don't you take it for a test drive? Fine. And, Mark, you can take the afternoon off. There's only one more car to service, and I can handle that. All right, nice one. You too, then. Oh, don't worry about me. Plenty of little jobs to do around here. I'll keep myself busy, no problem. Ta. Good trip? Yeah. It were all right. Hmm. Planning any more? Don't think so. You don't sound too keen. Doesn't the lure of the open road appeal to you, Terry? No, I'm uh, more of an own bird, me. Oh. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm busy? Oh, that's nice, you know. Hey, lads. Terry. How are you? Good weekend? Not really. Gonna buy you a drink? No, child. I'm off in a minute. How would you like to come out for a meal with me tonight? I'd love to. Somewhere nice? Of course. You okay, mate? No. It's not about her. Of course it ain't. Too obvious, mate. What was that? You and her. You got your tongue hanging out. Mind you, I can't blame you. Is that right? Oh, she's a cracker, yeah, but you want to forget about it, Terry. Why is that? Well, she's fallen for the old Irish charm, aren't she? Those English blokes have got no chance when they uh, turn the old blarney on. Mind you, he's a, he's a good bloke, is Raymond. Right, good bloke, is he? Gets on great with the lads down at the site. Yeah. Yeah, I bet he does. Terry. <laughs> He has got it bad. <laughs> yeah, no, half one sounds good to me. And don't worry, because there won't be anyone else here. All right? Bye. Bye, Elaine. 
Who's that? A uh, customer. Tony again? Yeah. So what? What's going on? Nothing. Well, I heard you say there will be no one else here. Yeah, well, there won't be, will there? Because you're going to go off testing that car in a bit. Why are you trying to get rid of me and Mark? I'm not. It's just there's no work. Come off it. There isn't nothing urgent. Rubbish. Look, there's something going on here, Scott. I want to know what it is. Len, will you just leave it alone, will you? No, I won't. Not till you come straight with us. All right, well, I am being straight with you. There is nothing going on, all right? Nothing. Got it? was quick. Very like clockwork. I'll get on them little jobs. But that's okay with you. Temper, temper. Not pranking the car, have you? It's Louise. No, oh, it's worse than I thought then. Not still going on about her. It's that smarmy Mullen. Walks into the woolly, all smiles, and she can't keep her hands off him. Then he's got the nerve to try and offer to buy me a drink. Well, don't just shrug. He's a scumbag, and she should know. Well, maybe she should, but she's not going to find out from you, is she? Is she? Well, maybe if I just dropped an hint. No, nothing, Terry. Well, we can't just stand by and let her ruin her life over this bloke. She'll find out what he's like. Eventually, women always do. What if he hurts her? You'll be there to pick up the pieces. Perfect. I'll have a double G&T, please. Let me get that for your charity. No tap. Your money looks pretty dirty to me. Well, I'd just like to show that there's no hard feelings on my part. Oh, go on, then. Providing you join me in a small cyanide. Ta. How was your trip? Oh, you know. I just hate driving on the wrong side of the road. What's all that about? Slight disagreement. Tate's have dropped my contract. Really? Why? Found out one or two things about my past. Didn't like it. To be honest with you, Chris has never liked me. This is just a good excuse. What are you going to do now? Get another haulage contractor. <laughs> it's not a problem. I can't believe how smart this hotel was. Oh, getting a taste for it now, are you? I am. Oh, golden credit cards and open checkbooks. I'm telling you, Chloe, there's no like them. Well, I could definitely get used to it. No, oh, but can I keep it up, though? Make pardon. Well, this fancy living, I mean, it's not like he's got bottomless pockets like my Chris. <laughs> no, but he's very ambitious. And young. Ooh. Well, I prefer the more mature type myself. I mean, they know what they want. And they certainly know what I want. <laughs> You've got Chris wrapped round your little finger, you haven't you? Yeah. Still working on Scott. Hmm. How come his business is doing so well, anyway? I don't know. I don't care as long as he keeps this up. <laughs> it's all yours. Cheers. What's he doing here? Oh, he's just finishing off a job. I thought you said you'd be on your own. Yeah, he's cool though. Are you sure? Yeah, honest. No rush. You've got to be longer with this one. I'll come around tomorrow. Tomorrow? Great. Don't look so worried. It's not working. Why isn't it working? You're the computer expert. Don't run on batteries, you know. Silly me. Ooh, I feel as if I'm starting out on a brand new adventure. So you are, lass. You online, then? Um, am I online, Seth? In a teak. Can I have a coat, please? Oh, you're not working? No, Scott's given us the afternoon off. Really? I thought you were snowed under. You'll not be needing this, will you, Viv? Won't I? No. It's a wet camera. You'd never use it. Oh, I might. Go on, let me have it for helping you out. All right, then. What's going on? 
We're going online. Oh, cool. Here, pop that in your drive. Sorry? I only got a garden. What drive? <laughs> Welcome to Viv's Internet Cafe. Another little business venture from Hope Industries. Bye. You'll be sent the bill by post. Still hanging round. Oh, hello, Craig. What'd you say? She still hasn't rung. Oh, didn't Paddy tell you? She rang earlier to say she won't be in until tomorrow. Sorry. Well, why didn't you ring me? Not my job. Still, you won't have a job much longer, will you? You'll be surprised. Not when she sees you working here. Speak for her now, do you? I do know she hates people making decisions on her behalf. Even Paddy. Diane! Oh, hi. Where are you going? I'm just popping in to see Rodney. Hey, have I got something to tell you? What? Uh, well, not here. Come here. This must be important. It is. Well, go on then. What is it? Well, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Thank you. Thank you. Ashley, could I have a quick word? Of course. The Jubilee, I think the village should do something for it, don't you? Yes, I suppose we should. Eric's certainly very keen on the idea. Is he? Well, he's always been an ardent royalist, you know. No, I didn't know. No, we thought ideally you should organise it, but we do realise you've already got an awful lot on your plate. Well, yes. And as a responsible single parent, we do understand you need to spend quality time with Gabrielle. Would you like to organise it, Gloria? Oh, well, I suppose... Oh, yes, I could do. No, that would be lovely. Good. Actually, I've already had some rather exciting ideas. A procession of floats through the village. A competition to find the Jubilee Queen. Ashley? Not disturbing you, Rama? <laughs> you disturb me all my life, Diane. Of course I have. I would have come round sooner, but we're very busy at the pub. Yeah, yeah, I saw how busy you were. Had your hands full with Mac, did you? You looked like a young schoolgirl stuck up against the wall. Not the most edifying sight. You sound like an old fuddy-duddy. Yeah, thank you. You'll be getting your slippers and pipe out next. Oh, look, I really don't need to hear this, Diane. Maybe you should go. What? Oh, I feel... Oh, I'm so tired. I was joking, Rodney. Don't let this heart attack turn you into an old man, cos you're not. You're no more an Alan Turner than I'll ever be an Edna Birch. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> ah, you always made me laugh. I did, didn't I? <laughs> you know what our problem is? Have we only got the one? Neither of us have grown up. That's why we can't settle down. There's always something more interesting round the next corner. So you do? Uh... You'd never get married again, then? Chance would be a fine thing. Not if the right fella came along. At my age? Oh, now who's sounding like an old fuddy-duddy, eh? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm as mixed up now as I was at 16. Sad, isn't it? So this Mac, then, he isn't... Uh... Oh, no, no. We're just having a good time. Damn. I was really scared. I can understand that. I still am. I... I wake up every morning and I think, wow, I'm still here. Yes, you can read tomorrow afternoon. But look, give us a call just to confirm. OK, bye. So what's the problem with this, then? Sorry? This car at Tornage, what's up with it? Uh, it's the timing, I think. The timing? Mm. Don't take me for a fool, I've been watching you. You've done next to notes on this car. I've told you what's wrong with it, haven't I? And I said, don't treat me like an idiot. You're ringing it, aren't you? No. I can see it in your face, you're lying. No, I'm not. <sighs> OK, yeah, I am. Oh, Scott. How could you? And how many have you done? This is a one-off. 
Oh, yeah, what about all them other cars Tony's brought in? And you wouldn't let us touch them either? No, but they were insurance scams. Oh, how can you be so stupid? I oh, know. And now you're ringing cars? Yeah, but this is the first time, though. When I started doing work for Tony, I thought that all the jobs were legit. And the insurance jobs, they practically were. But then he just got me to do more and more and... Oh, don't tell me you didn't know what you were doing, because I don't believe you. Well, I did know. But then I just... Well, I suddenly found that I had no choice anymore. Cheers. So you managed to get online, then? Yes. It's wonderful. I've quite taken to it. Ooh, Viv, my little surf babe. <laughs> you tell Diane the wall pack's been chosen as the focal point for the village in bloom? I will, yes. Yeah, she'll be well chuffed. Bob, that's blatant favouritism. I wouldn't go quite as far as to say that, my love. I'm not having it. I'm going to make sure our shop display puts Diane's pathetic little efforts to shame. Yeah, well, I'm sure it will, but please don't go creating a scene, will you, Vivian? And I'm going to tell that stuck-up Gloria Weaver that she's making a terrible mistake. Viv, don't... Oh. Viv, can we have words? My thoughts exactly. I'd like you to do something very special for me. Oh, really? Can you put this notice up in your shop window? Thank you. And this garage, you've got a cracking business here. Do you want to lose all that? Oh, of course I don't. Well, you're going right away about it. And why did you do it? For a bit of cash, just to impress your girlfriend? I didn't just do it for that. Then what did you do it for? Well, I, I, I got tempted. And then all of a sudden, it was too late. And what's Chloe going to say when she finds oh, out? Oh, Len, will you please get off my back about it? No, I won't. I can't tell you how disappointed I am in you. I was dead chuffed when you gave me this job. I respected a young man with ambitions. You reminded me of how Sean. But now... Oh, I'm sorry, Len. It's too late for sorries. What are you going to do about it? Well, what can I do? Well, you can finish working on this car for a start. I can't do that. Well, you're not telling me you're going to carry on with the job. I've got no choice, Len. Have you listened to anything I've said? What do you think he's going to say to me if I don't do that? Yeah. And what am I going to say? Well, what do you mean? When I speak to Angie. Len, you're not going to tell Angie. What choice have you given me, lad? Len, please. You can't tell Angie, Len, please. <laughs> 